Governor Scott Walker says the state will not cooperate with any effort to settle Syrian refugees in Wisconsin following the Paris terror attacks. But immigration experts say states may not have the authority to say no. Political reporter Jessica Arp explains. <laughs> Four million Syrians have been fleeing their country since 2011, trying to escape the persecution of ISIS within their borders. 2,000 refugees have been placed in the U.S., three of them in Wisconsin, according to the Federal Office of Refugee Resettlement. But Governor Scott Walker and other Republican leaders are saying no more. I think at this point, um, there's a pretty widely held consensus that states do not have the authority to decide they're going to reject a specific nationality of refugees. Two immigration experts at UW-Madison, including the director of the Immigrant Justice Clinic, who recently took the case of one local Syrian seeking asylum, say Wisconsin can't outright reject placement of Syrians as immigration falls under federal law. I mean, states can certainly refuse to cooperate. Um, they can, I mean, I think some of the contracts by which federal money comes into the state go through state agencies, they can not honor those and not re-enter into those. So they can certainly make it difficult, but they can't, they couldn't say, well, we'll take some refugees, but not others. The experts also say that screening of refugees is among the strictest of any immigration procedure in the U.S., taking up to 18 months. It's a very long process. There are screening interviews, there are medical exams, so over the course of um, applying for refugee resettlement, being flagged by the UN as someone or a community that should get refugee resettlement. Speaker Paul Ryan said today that Congress may move to pause the move of 10,000 Syrians into the U.S., leaving the future of the effort in Wisconsin unclear. In Madison, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3.